In task two of experiment five, we use method A to determine the equilibrium constant at room temperature. And we prepared five different solutions by mixing five milliliters of iron three plus solution and five milliliters of thiocyanate solution. To calculate the initial concentration of iron three plus, we can use M1V1 equals M2V2. The stock solution prepared was 2.00 times 10 to a negative 3 molar for iron 3 plus. And we mixed 5 milliliters of iron 3 plus with 5 milliliters of thiocyanate solution. So V1 will be 5 milliliters. We're solving for M2. M2 is the initial concentration of iron 3 plus after the two solutions were mixed. And the total volume, which is V2, is 10 milliliters because we took 5 milliliters of iron 3 plus and 5 milliliters of thiocyanate. So for M2, and you will get the initial concentration of iron 3 plus. The value should be the same for all five solutions here. Similar approach for thiocyanate, but this time M1 will be different for those five solutions. First one was blank, so there was no thiocyanate uh, at all. It was just uh, millicule water, so M1 would be zero molar. And I listed the uh, uh, M1 for each solution. V1 will be uh, 5 milliliters because that was how much you used um, for thiocyanate only. So even for M2, which is the initial concentration of thiocyanate after the two types of solutions were mixed. After the two types of solutions mi were mixed, the total volume will be 10 milliliters. So for M2, for each solution, and that will be the initial concentration of thiocyanate. The next thing you need to solve is the equilibrium concentration of the red-orange complex. So remember beer lambert law that The absorbance at a specific wavelength equals the molar absorptivity coefficient at a specific wavelength times concentration times the path length of the cuvette, which is one centimeter. So here you want to solve for the concentration of the complex so you can simply divide the absorbance at a specific wavelength by epsilon at a specific wavelength. And from task one, we already know that the ep epsilon at the specific wavelength is simply the slope. So we can simply divide those two numbers and you will end up with a value, which is the equilibrium concentration of the complex. There's one thing to keep in mind. If your slope from the graph, the slope of the best fit line is not between 4,000 to 8,000, then I would recommend using 5,000 for your slope. The reason why you want your value to be in between 4,000 to 8,000 is that this is the literature value. If somehow you, your, the slope from your best fit line is below 4,000 or more than 8,000, then use 5,000 for the slope instead. So that's how you calculate the equilibrium concentration of the complex for each solution.
The next thing you, you need to calculate is the equilibrium concentration of iron 3 plus and thiocyanate. So I listed the equations for both. So the initial concentration of the iron 3 plus or the initial concentration of thiocyanate will equal the equilibrium concentration of iron 3 plus or thiocyanate plus the equilibrium concentration of the complex. If you look at the ice table here, then you can see why the initial concentration will equal the equilibrium concentration of, for example, thiocyanate plus the equilibrium concentration of the complex. The initial concentration of thiocyanate is 0 0.001, which is equal to the equilibrium concentration of thiocyanate, which is zero, plus the equilibrium concentration of the complex, which is 0 0.001. Same thing for iron three plus. The initial concentration is 0 0.100, which is equal to the equilibrium concentration of of uh, iron three plus, which is 0 0.099, plus the equilibrium concentration of the complex, which is 0 0.001. Okay, so in order to calculate the equilibrium concentration of iron three plus, you can you can subtract the initial concentration of iron three plus with the equilibrium concentration of the complex, which so those two values were already solved. The initial concentration of iron three plus is here, and the equilibrium concentration of the complex is here. So if you know those two values, then you can solve for the equilibrium concentration of iron 3 plus. Same approach for the equilibrium concentration of thiocyanate. This is unknown. You already know the initial concentration of uh, thiocyanate from this column. And you also know the equilibrium concentration of the complex from this column. Therefore, you can solve for the equilibrium concentration of thiocyanate. And record, you recorded absorbance from the spectrophotometer. And the very last thing you need to calculate is the equilibrium constant from task two. So, so I already uh, wrote down the expression for you. Equilibrium constant equals the concentration of the, all the products over the concentration of all the reactants at equilibrium. So the product in this case is the complex and the reactants in this experiment were the iron three plus and thiocyanate. So, so you can calculate this part from here, here, and here. Keep in mind for the blank, because there was no initial um, thiocyanate, then the um, equilibrium concentration of thiocyanate will also be zero. So it's essentially there was no no um, iron thiocyanate complex formed. So at equilibrium, so this will be zero here as well, and you can simply put the zero for KEQ. Um, if you put a, a zero for uh, the equilibrium concentration of thiocyanate here, you end up with an undefined value. So we want to avoid that. We just put zero for uh, KEQ because theoretically there will be no um, reaction 
uh, occurring anyway if the one of the reactant is missing. But you can calculate the other uh, KEQ values from using uh, this expression here and just simply plug in the values here, here, and here. They also ask for the average KEQ values at um, room temperature. So whatever um, temperature you recorded, make sure you convert that into Kelvin and put it here. And the average KEQ of 1 to 4, do not include the blank because the blank is simply 0 and um, we don't want to include that. Uh, there's no point to include the blank um, if the value is just 0. And so um, add those four values here and divide it by 4. It will be the average KEQ.